story tonight images literally out of this world a telescope full of mirrors capturing the first light ever to enter our universe tonight asu professors are now sharing what experts are learning about the universe after the recent launch of the james webb telescope it's a discovery that would have impressed even einstein maybe hawking too We'd never seen images quite this beautiful. The sharpest images of the distant universe. The sights and discoveries are the first images from the recently launched James Webb Telescope. Arizona scientists helped to build the telescope's infrared cameras. Professor Roger Windhorse is with Arizona State University. This beautiful cluster of galaxies that is uh, so massive that it is lensing the light from the objects behind it. So instead of the light coming to us from a straight path, it goes around the curve. Wow. The cluster weighs roughly 10 to the 15 trillion solar masses. That's so 10 to the 15 solar masses. That's about a thousand trillion uh, um, times the mass of the sun. And that's, that's a big mass. Windhorst says the images are part of the cosmic circle of life and stretched because of gravitational bending and magnified. An ordinary galaxy will look like, like this one, a spiral like our own, or an elliptical, more like this egg-shaped thing over here, and, and we're more like a spiral galaxy, about 100 billion stars, and we're halfway from the center to the edge. Now here, in, in, in the center of this image, that, that blue object is a star, you know, like a drop on the windshield in our own galaxy. But here you see this enormous mass of foreground galaxies, uh, supermassive galaxy. This one is probably almost 100 times heavier than our own galaxy. He says the newly discovered cluster is around 13 and a half billion years old. Researchers say with the launch of the telescope, scientists are hoping to learn more about the galaxy's masses, ages, histories, and compositions from the Big Bang. But despite recent reports that the $10 billion telescope suffered irreparable damage, Windhorse says the damage was planned for by scientists and is nothing to worry about. And uh, it's always been planned, both for Hubble and Webb, that over the course of the years, uh, small impacts would deteriorate the surface a little bit. And that is happening. Uh, we can actually see that. Our... So cool to think about what's happening light years from where we are.